What's up guys, this is Dan with Next Level. Today we are talking about the downhill 180. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right guys, welcome back to the Next Level YouTube channel. We are super excited about this one. So based on you guys' questions, your comments from previous videos, and by the way, thanks so much for watching those, you guys' subscriptions. We're gonna keep this going all season long. So remember you guys, if there's a tip or a trick or something snowmobile related that you wanna see on one of these videos, make sure to leave those in the comments below. Today, guys, we're talking about the downhill 180. This can be a very intimidating move. You can tell right now I'm in a position, the sled is downhill. I've got my brake already locked just while I'm sitting here talking to you. We're headed down into terrain that we wanna turn around and get ourselves back up. There's a lot of technique involved, so let's do it. All right, guys, so step one with the downhill 180. You can tell with the way my sled is faced. I know I've, I've come into this terrain, I was riding up here, and I'm coming downhill. All of a sudden, this is a spot where I don't wanna be in and I wanna get myself back up and out of this terrain, hopefully not getting stuck. We are gonna pretend a bit that I don't have a down route or that I don't just get to turn this into a downhill left or right side hill to get out of here, but rather I've gotta come all the way up and out of this terrain using this down downhill 180 maneuver. So what I wanna do first is my sled, because I've come into this area, I'm just gonna to commit to the fall line of the, of the, of the slope. The fall line, guys, if I took a big beach ball and I rolled it down the hill, the beach ball is gonna follow sort of that natural curve of the earth. Well, I'm letting my snowmobile do that the same way. The reason I wanna do that is that I want the ability to either initiate my turn to go left to get out of this and start this turn or go right. So if I can get my sled flat on the snow, down in that fall line, that's gonna be step one. All right, so now that my snowmobile is in the fall line of this slope that I wanna do this 180 and come out of, my finger is gonna be on the brake, applying the brake, holding me to the hillside. As I come down, I'm gonna get my sled counter steered because in this example, I'm gonna do a downhill left 180 to come out of here. So I'm counter steering my, my machine. As I do that, I'm gonna get opposite foot forward. And remember, I'm still gonna keep that 40 degree on the running board technique that you guys have learned from previous videos. I love doing this, guys, because I love being able to use my knee into my gas tank, or if I'm far enough forward, into the console, or if I'm way back here, into the seat of the snowmobile. For this one, I'm gonna start with my foot pretty dang far forward, almost underneath the toe loop of the machine. This outside foot, you guys, as I go to make this move and put this sled on its side, remember that I'm not stepping out or back, I'm actually stepping forward. And this anticipated move is just me knowing that the sled, as I give it gas to put it on its side, the sled's gonna go down the hill and go forward. I'm gonna meet it there. All right, so next step with this one, and this one is crucial. As I've made my move, and keep in mind, guys, because I was on a hillside, I was applying my brake. I had to blip the throttle to get the sled up on its side, and then I'm typically back on my brake. The reason I say typically is a lot of times in deep snow, the snow itself is kind of holding you to the hillside. Great practice, though, to still ride with that one finger on the brake. For this particular example, I have blipped the throttle and then I'm back on my brake. So think of it as brake, gas, brake. And that's putting me right here into this position. You can tell my sled is ready to start to initiate this left-hand turn. Difference being is we're not going into a side hill. We're actually bringing this sled all the way back up and around, making this downhill 180. Here's the tip. So from there, as I start to initiate into this turn, I'm gonna take that foot that's on the running board, 40 degree on the running board, and I'm gonna put it back. So I'm gonna jump back about a foot, maybe even a foot and a half, depending on how steep or deep the snow is. I'm gonna bring that foot back. And the reason for it, guys, is as I exit the turn, I want a place for this foot that is now posted in the snow to go back on the running board, putting me back to flat track as I come up and out of this terrain. All right, guys, so there it is, the downhill 180. Remember, how steep and how tight you make that turn can also depend on the snow depth and the horsepower of that machine. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.